students logging into their TCU email account and seeing spam isn't what they like or want to see. I get annoyed because it takes time out of my day to go through and delete them. I think it just, it just clogs up my inbox and I don't like that. I just feel a little bit annoyed. They no longer have to worry about seeing their inboxes flooded with spam. The Technology Resources Department completed an upgrade January 17th, installing a new spam quarantine system that gives the user more control over the emails received in their inbox and which ones are put in the spam folders. The old system only sent out notices of reported spam only twice a day, but now the junk email folder can be accessed anytime, giving students and faculty the ability to block senders and mark emails as junk or not junk, rather than having to request a change to be made by technology resources. The issues of spam getting the students' email accounts have been a problem in the past, leaving students wondering what emails they can trust to open. I received an email a couple months ago from who I thought was a potential employer but turned out to be a spam email. Uh, I responded to that email with um, my resume attached which had personal information on it including my phone number and address. So whoever that was now has my information which is a little scary. According to the Technology Resources website, in the new system, clean emails are sent directly to the inbox, questionable messages are sent to the junk email folder, and dangerous messages believed to have a virus are cleaned before being sent to the inbox. Switching to the new system has already produced positive results. I think it's great. I haven't had one spam email since. Spam emails can be avoided altogether if you never apply to spam or unsubscribe off of a spammer's mailing list. Sean McDermott, TCU News Now.